Who could have imagined that on the first workday of 2026, the skies over Xinjiang would be split by a jade green streak of lightning, the all-new production variant of the J-35, affectionately dubbed the Green Machine, by military enthusiasts. Soaring skyward in a mere seven seconds from the runway at Xinjiang Aircraft Corporation, this fleeting glimpse was more than a routine New Year's test flight, it felt like a challenge from the future, urgently signaling that everything surrounding China's fifth-generation stealth carrier-based fighter, from the rumored WS-19 engine to the mysterious opening on its fuselage, would soon transition from speculation to reality. Today, let us decipher the revolutionary information carried by this fighter eagle, clad in its raw primer, information capable of reshaping the maritime and aerial landscape. The significance of this flash of Xinjiang green lies first in its clear identity, this is not an early prototype, but a technology demonstrator built to mass production standards, infinitely close to its final delivery configuration. Its unadorned dark green primer serves as a technical blueprint, laying bare the J-30-5's most critical manufacturing secrets. Close inspection reveals the distinct weave pattern of T1000-grade carbon fiber composites beneath the green paint. This ultra-high-end material, combined with third-generation resin mattresses, propels the J-35's composite content past the 40% threshold. What does this mean? Compared to traditional metal structures, the aircraft's overall weight can be reduced by 30%, while simultaneously achieving a leap in tensile strength and structural toughness. Lower empty weight directly translates to extended range, increased payload capacity, and more agile flight performance. This forms the physical foundation enabling the J-35, as a carrier-based fighter, to deliver formidable combat capability within the confined space of an aircraft carrier. Additionally, details like wing folding hinge covers, various access panels, and fuselage antennas stand out clearly against the green paint, collectively outlining the fighter's rigorous and efficient structural design logic. Of course, as a fifth-generation fighter, stealth capability is its soul. The most advanced technology revealed by this green-painted aircraft is precisely related to this. In critical radar reflection zones like the nose radar dome and intake edges, the J-35 integrates a revolutionary metamaterial electromagnetic cloaking system. This technology eschews traditional absorptive coatings, instead employing precision-engineered microscopic structures within the material to actively guide and manipulate incoming radar waves, preventing their return to the radar receiver along the original path. Analysis indicates this technology reduces the J-35's radar cross-section to a staggering 0.02 square meters, just one-fifth that of the American F-22 fighter jet. However, the two focal points sparking microscopic scrutiny among military enthusiasts worldwide are undoubtedly its power plant and refueling capabilities. The video showcases the J-35's remarkably short takeoff roll and exceptionally swift power response, leaving a profound impression. This formidable power source naturally points to China's long-rumored flagship engine, the WS-19 turbofan. Designed as a fourth-generation medium-thrust, low-bypass ratio turbofan specifically for fifth-generation medium fighters, it is widely regarded as the ultimate power plant target for the J-35. The WS-19 is believed to incorporate cutting-edge technologies like self-cooling blades and ceramic matrix composites, aiming for breakthroughs in both thrust-to-weight ratio and afterburner thrust. While official confirmation is pending on whether the test aircraft's green-painted engine represents the fully matured WS-19 variant, its demonstrated exceptional takeoff performance undoubtedly instills confidence in the progress of China Aero Engine Corporation. Once the WS-19 achieves full integration, the J-35 will possess a robust power plant truly capable of rivaling any competitor in its class. Another detail that has observers buzzing is located on the rear fuselage, midway along the streamlined tail section. A distinct opening with a specific geometric shape sparks endless speculation. Could this be the long-awaited rigid aerial refueling receptacle for PLA fighter jets? Hardpoint refueling, also known as boom refueling, significantly outpaces traditional hose and drogue methods, boosting efficiency by four to five times. It can refuel a fighter jet in just one or two minutes, dramatically enhancing mission flexibility and combat effectiveness. Previously, China's aerial refueling system relied primarily on soft point methods. If the J-35 is confirmed to feature a rigid refueling receptacle, it signifies a systemic upgrade to China's air and naval forces in strategic deployment and long-range strike capabilities. Further analysis suggests this receptacle may adopt a forward-mounted centralized design for more convenient and efficient docking. It could seamlessly integrate with the Y-20 tanker's rigid refueling system, 
enabling ultra-high-speed fuel transfer exceeding 6,000 liters per minute. Of course, some cautious observers suggest that as a carrier-based aircraft, the J-35 may primarily rely on buddy refueling, with the rear opening potentially serving as a mounting point for a distributed electro-optical system or a blind spot radar. Regardless, the emergence of this detail is sufficient to ignite speculation about the future transformation of the Chinese Air Force's combat systems. The fervent discussion surrounding this green skin prototype stems from a larger narrative, the production revolution for the J-35 has arrived. The location of this maiden flight, Xinyang Aircraft Corporation's new final assembly plant in Xinbai New District serves as the core engine of this revolution. This super factory, spanning 750 meters in length with a floor area of 270,000 square meters, was completed in June 2025 and has commenced preliminary assembly. Its scale now rivals Lockheed Martin's Fort Worth final assembly base for the F-35. According to official information from the Liaoning provincial government, combined with production line debugging, and capacity ramp-up plans. This new facility is expected to formally enter mass production in 2026, this year. Over the next three to five years, it will establish a model of intelligent production coupled with full-chain support, doubling its total production capacity. To support these ambitious production targets, a massive industrial cluster named Xinyang Aerospace City, spanning 79.2 square kilometers, is simultaneously emerging. This complex extends beyond assembly facilities, establishing a complete ecosystem integrating main manufacturers with supporting suppliers. The Xinyang Aircraft Composite Project focuses on aerospace composite components, aiming to boost local composite supply rates from 50% to 80% upon full operation. The Titanium Alloy Project prioritizes titanium forming and additive manufacturing lines to produce critical load-bearing aircraft parts, and the Aviation Equipment Comprehensive Support Base handles end-to-end -end services including delivery and inspection. All these efforts converge toward one goal making J-35 production as efficient and intelligent as assembling smartphones on an assembly line. Analysts widely agree that with the new production line operating at full capacity, the annual output of J-35S will rapidly increase. Reaching an annual production level of dozens or even hundreds of aircraft is no longer a distant prospect. At that point, China will join the select group of nations capable of independently developing and mass-producing fifth-generation stealth carrier-based fighters. So where will these mass-produced J-35S be deployed? Their primary and most urgent mission is undoubtedly to fill the gap in China's carrier-based aircraft fleet by introducing fifth-generation stealth capabilities. The first electromagnetic catapult-equipped carrier, the Fujian, awaits the full deployment of its stealth mainstay fighter. The J-35's unique design advantage of compatibility with both catapult and ski jump launch systems means it can not only roar off the Fujian's electromagnetic catapult but also adapt to the ski jump decks of the Liaoning and Shandong. A foreseeable scenario is that future Chinese carrier strike groups will form a powerful carrier-based aircraft squadron centered around the J-35 as the core air superiority node. This squadron will be complemented by the deeply upgraded, combat-capable J-15T multi-role fighter and the J-15DT electronic warfare aircraft creating a high-low mix with complementary functions. This will not only significantly enhance the offensive and defensive capabilities of individual carriers, but also propel the overall operational model of China's naval carrier strike groups. It will drive a comprehensive evolution from traditional regional air defense toward dominating airspace, maritime control, and electromagnetic spectrum dominance in the open seas, truly ushering in an era of dual air-sea stealth.